Hey guys, I just want to start off this video by saying that this is in a very different format than basically all of my other ones. So if you're enjoying this or I don't know, you watch and think, oh yeah, I'm feeling this style of editing and whatnot, please leave a like and comment or at the very least like the video just so I know that you actually enjoy what I'm making. I would appreciate the feedback. I want to make videos that I would enjoy watching as not just a crafting log, but also a video diary sort of thing that I can rewatch without being, as the kids say, cringe. So here I've just been showing you <sighs> working on my first crochet top ever, and it's not going too great. I mean, it, I'm just showing you the pattern here because I was getting really confused. The granny squares, I think, turned out fine, but I just, it's been a struggle. Um, yeah, it was made with Nutmeg Fibers yarn, which I had used originally to make a moonset tee, but that was a fail because it was not the right kind of yarn. So I just frogged that and started working on this halter top. And since recording this, I have actually finished most of the halter top, but it is not really the right size, which is kind of awful. <laughs> But um, yeah, I don't know. We're just working with it and I'll give you an update next time. But here I am trying to, I don't know, I just wanted to include a crochet with me section and you get to watch me struggle to crochet because it's not something that I normally do. And I am a super beginner, which you can probably tell by, I don't know, the fact that the pattern confuses me and that I crochet kind of weird, apparently. I have a friend who does crochet primarily and she doesn't knit and I think according to her and from what I've seen I think knitting has influenced how I crochet because I throw the yarn a weird way from how I knit I guess is it continental style I have no idea but yes this is just me trying to show you the kind of uh I guess that is the waistband sort of I don't know what you would call that part of the shirt but yeah I don't know. I eventually figured it out. I did realize that <laughs> for the longest time I actually was not single crocheting properly, which, yeah, you can see that in this clip. That's supposed to be a single crochet, but it's not. I don't know what the heck that is. And I did it for basically the entire shirt up until a row or two after this one. And then I realized, oh shoot, this is not what a single crochet is. I don't know what made me look it up, but I did. So then I switched <laughs> and it's a little different, but I think because of the placement of where I switched to a actual normal single crochet, it works.
I think for my first time doing granny squares, they turned out pretty good. In that last clip you saw, uh, I showed you just kind of the whole strip laid out and the joints weren't awful. And I don't know, I think they look kind of nice. So I like it, but mm, I don't know, still a struggle. And in the next video, I'll show you kind of what the more final project looks like, but I'm still not sure if I'm a fan or not. Unrelated to crochet, knitting, what this channel used to be mostly about. <laughs> I haven't actually knit very much lately. I kind of got stuck on that sweater project that I started when I wanted to make a sweater vest. And then I just never, I don't know, I'm still working on the body. I never really picked it back up. I don't have the motivation for it, especially because it's getting so hot. It's ridiculously hot now. So yeah, I just, I worked on it a little bit actually, which you'll see later in the video, but that's about as much as I've done since the last time you saw it, and I've only touched it that one time since the last time I showed it to you. And yeah, I don't know. I don't see any progress really happening with that right now, but that's okay, because I'm not going to push it. I've been working on other things instead, and kind of exploring different interests, which actually not spinning, so it's not fiber related, sorry, there's no spinning update, but I've been reading a lot. My reading goal for this year I set pretty low, I just wanted to read 10 books, and I've already read 15, I think it, it was. I use Goodreads to track all of the books that I've read, so I'm pretty sure it's been 15 as of yesterday, and yeah, I don't know, I'm just really enjoying spending my time in different ways and exploring all of my varied interests that are so all over the place, but make sense because I like them. <laughs> I used to read a lot more before undergrad and then I just completely stopped so in the last year and a half or I guess probably it hasn't even been a year and a half at this point in the past maybe six to seven months getting back into reading has been really nice I primarily like fantasy but that's not the only thing I've been reading so that kind of gives you an idea of what I've been up to, especially because uh, I got an iPhone, I think last year or the year before, I don't know at this point, but they have books on there in, in the book app thing. <laughs> and I've been using that so that I can read on my phone, which has been nice. I've also been really into journaling. So if any of you like journaling, hit me up because I'm super into it. Oh, here I'm just showing you some artwork that I made, the bacon and egg that hang above my bed, because yes. And then also, one thing I did recently is I saw The Warning in concert, and they are this amazing trio of sisters from uh, Monterrey, Mexico, and they're just so fabulous, and they're really, really young, and they are, like, new generation rock and roll. I really love them, so that show was amazing.
so I just had an interview and that was miserable. But whatever, it's fine. I'll be fine. Everything's fine. Interviews are just the All right. <laughs> well, in the spirit of today sucking, I was going to go practice roller skating, but there's too many people there and I don't really want to do it next to a bunch of people. And then I had to come back home to get my phone to get directions because I am incapable of driving places without directions. Phone book update failed. And now my car is talking, which is annoying. So I'm going to the library, I think. If that doesn't also not work. Ah. I would just like to say, I predict this will be terrible, but we'll see after I figure out how to stand up. First 
step pause two um put this here okay I'm going to die. Thank you.